Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's Scott here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and smash that like button. So for today's video, we're going to be going over a recent sneaker release. These just hit stores and they are selling out quick i feel like this colorway never really was announced and has been super slept on and i actually saw it for the first time in stores so i was super surprised and i looked at them on the market these have huge upside potential recently the mids have been killing it normally people are only on the highs and i've been a huge advocate for the lows i've never really been a mid person myself but they have the chicago toe mids the chicago mids they also even came out with the union mid colorways they had the blue one and the red one all of them are fire and have really good potential but the one we're going to be talking about are the white shadow jordan one mids so these go crazy so this is actually a very clean colorway check it out does have the shadow look but it does have an overall shade of white added to it so this is very new i don't think i've ever seen any colorway quite like this we managed to snag these in store for retail and these are the money sizes so i've said time and time again the jordan ones they obviously do well when it comes to reselling and the market but the smaller sizes around like 7 to 8.5 even 9 they do a lot better than the bigger sizes like 10 all the way up to 12 these are just money sizes and I'm super glad that I managed to cop them these are definitely gonna be a nice resell piece I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold these or flip them we could actually flip these right now for around like 160 to 170 and these retailed for 115 plus tax so that is a nice like 40 to 50 dollar profit on each shoe we ended up getting three pairs all in the smaller adult sizes so these do have upside potential of going up to around 200 dollars so the chicago mids this specific pair size nine and a half we actually did sell these for 180 i ended up buying this for 150 so that was a nice 30 dollar profit and it's local so i didn't have to worry about shipping but these do have upside potential to go to that height or even up to 200 depending on on the size so these are smaller sizes compared to that so these obviously are gonna go for more I might just sell one hold the other two or I might even flip all of them let me know if you guys are interested in copying make sure you follow us on Instagram the link will be down in the description box below as well as on the screen that's pretty much where we do all our selling and pretty much all the inventory anything you see in this video if you are interested you can DM me ask me if it's for sale you can see these on the Instagram so make sure you check them out enough advertising my Instagram we got to talk about the sneaker and the upside potential so obviously if you can cop for retail that is a definite good buy but what is a good buy-in point for this and what should you try to cop these at if you are trying to invest and make a profit if you can get these for 140 or less you can definitely make some good profit whether you're holding or if you're doing for a quick flip if you are looking to do a quick flip on these you gotta look to try to probably buy them for 120 to 130 pretty much just right above retail or if you're lucky someone might actually hook it up for retail who knows if you know the right people could happen the price target to resell these right Right now where the market's sitting is around 160 ish depending on size but like I said earlier if you do choose to hold these like the stock market you really can't go wrong with holding long term that's just the safe way and guaranteed profit no matter what price you buy in but obviously you want to buy at the lowest price possible so you can maximize your profit I also wanted to do a close-up of the sneaker nice colorway the nice white leather it does feature the white jump man with a black patch overall the details are really nice normal mid cut and honestly this sneaker is surprisingly really clean I don't think I personally would rock it it's not my thing but I could definitely see why people would want this sneaker I think it's an amazing colorway and very different and you could definitely see people wanting to cop this so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the video I just wanted to do a quick video on this my thoughts if I think you should cop it or not like I said before it does have good upside potential and you can make good money and if you like the sneakers of course you got to cop what you like so if if you like these go out there and go buy it if you want they're going for an amazing deal right now because they just released that is one of the ideal times you want to buy a sneaker sneakers do tend to have a trend when it comes to their resale value so usually they will be a very hyped sneaker and they will start off super high and then they will plummet and then you want to buy at the ultimate low they'll just keep dropping and once they release 
or they could be sneakers like these that start off really low and then they will slowly climb up. So for the sneakers like these, when they slowly climb up and start low, you want to buy as close to release date as possible to get the best deal on them. Most of the Jordan 1 lows or anything that's kind of slept on or doesn't really have too much hype. The Obsidian ones were a good example of that. So these didn't really have that much resale value in the beginning and they were going barely above retail. But check it out, about a year later, they are going for upwards of 400, close to 500 dead stock. That's insane and it just goes to show if a sneaker is hot and high demand, it can appreciate a lot. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more content. We're gonna be busting out more hauls, sneaker investments, and all that good stuff. So you guys definitely wanna be on the lookout for that. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one.